गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टू अवर चैनल अकेडमिया अम्बाला आई एम मिस्टर राजेश्वर भारद्वाज एंड आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्लास एट साइंस चैप्टर फाइव कोल एंड पेट्रोलियम स्टूडेंट्स देर आर सो मैनी थिंग्स विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस लाइक एयर वाटर फूड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इवन द लैपटॉप्स एंड मोबाइल्स दिस वी आर यूजिंग फॉर आर एजुकेशन these materials or substance are called resources now resources we can get from the nature some of the resources and some are made by human beings so the substance or material we get from the nature are called natural resources like air water forest wildlife fossil fuels like coal petroleum they are all natural resources and some are made by human beings like mobile phones laptops vehicles clothes pencil books they are called artificial resources or man made resources in this chapter we are concerned about natural resources that is the materials which are present in nature and useful to us to meet our basic needs depending upon the abundance and availability natural resources can be broadly classified into exhaustible and inexhaustible natural resources first we will discuss about inexhaustible natural resources that means the resources which can be used again and again some examples of inexhaustible natural resources are sunlight water air sand these resources are present in unlimited quantities in the nature and are not likely to be exhausted by human activities exhaustible means get finished if we use once for example if we use if we burn a small amount of coal after some time it will get finished up it cannot be used again and again even it take millions of years for the formation of coal some other examples of exhaustible natural resources are forest wildlife minerals coal petroleum and natural gas why we call forest or wildlife as exhaustible natural resource because they take long time to get replenish itself so the exhaustible natural resources are the resources which are present in limited quantity in nature and are likely to be finished or exhausted over a certain period of time by human activities in this chapter we are concerned about exhaustible natural resources coal petroleum and natural gas are exhaustible natural resources on combustion that is on burning it produces heat energy which is used for various purpose like for cooking it may be used in industries or the products we get from petroleum like petrol and diesel it also undergoes combustion and produce energy which is used in vehicles so they all act as fuel and as they are formed from the dead parts of plants and animals they are also called fossils so the fuels we are getting from the fossils are called fossil fuels so coal petroleum and natural gas are called fossil fuels because they are formed from the dead parts of plants and animals from this we come to the end of our first module thank you